Lowe's is the second largest home improvement retailer in the United States. In 2009, we had sales of around $49 billion. We sell everything from flowers to paint to lumber to appliances. The sheer size of Lowe's with 1,700 stores, 42,000 items in every single store, uh, makes any kind of process change and any kind of technical implementation a massive undertaking. We, didn't have, we had relatively confused suppliers. Our suppliers were, we didn't have a good accurate uh, demand forecast, we didn't have uh, accurate forward visibility, and therefore problems would hit us in the face and we didn't have any options for what to do with them. And further, we didn't, have, um, uh, we didn't have the planning tools that we needed. Uh, most of our planning tools were the usual array of access databases and Excel spreadsheets that lots of companies use. So, Replanning the business was very difficult, and redoing it comprehensively across the company was a, it took a major, major effort. The solution to support the uh, closed loop planning process by, well, really starting with the forecast, one version of the truth. The forecast with our planning tools enable us to be able to uh, create plans that are based on that sales forecast. The plans range from not only the sales forecast, but inventory forecast, purchase order forecast, flows through our distribution centers, and even forecasts of our transportation resources. The closing of the loop then comes from taking those forecasts, taking that order purchase forecast, and driving it back into our execution system. As a result of that, the execution system will react to the, to the plans and allow the plans to come out more like, the orders to come out more like the forecast. We've gotten a lot of benefits, not only quantitative, but also qualitative as a result of the GDA implementation. From a quantitative basis, um, we've seen the time that it takes a signal from the store, a demand signal from the store back to the DC cut in half. And that's a result of that closed loop process that we talked about. Before our systems were disconnected between the stores and the distribution centers. As a result of, of the JDA systems and feeding that plan back into our execution tools, that, uh, that demand signal then is automatically and immediately put back into our, tool, into our, into our planning tools and therefore con conveyable directly to our vendors through the internet. Other benefits that we've seen, um, we've seen a, uh, for, especially for our strategic alliance partners, um, examples where we've had a 25% improvement in inventory turns uh, and a 20% um, improvement in the inventory that they need to support us. And all of this while the vendor fill rates from, uh, from those vendors have improved from the low 90s to uh, north of 98%. Our suppliers have seen a lot of benefits from our collaboration as well. We're able to uh, work with them in a way that we've never worked with them before and give them information like we've never had before. With the JDA application, even for those smaller vendors, we can give them a tremendous amount of information because the JDA application is able to pr produce sales forecast and vendor purchase forecasts for every single vendor every single week. And we can put those out on the, on the web portal so that those vendors can self-service themselves and get the information when they need. For our strategic alliance and full collaboration vendors then, that information is also key to them. But I think the biggest key has been the fact that the connection between the sales forecast and the vendor purchase forecast, what we're actually going to buy from them, is much stronger today than it was before. And then there's a, also a much d better and direct connection between what we forecast our order is going to be and what we actually order. Now, it's retail, right? Things are going to change. And, th and change rapidly. And so forecasts are never ever going to be perfect. But the great thing that we've achieved about the, with the JDA applications is that when things change, we can go directly to root cause analysis and figure out why they changed and how. And that's created a tremendous amount of trust in the forecast from our manufacturers. In fact, one of our vendors actually stated that in their internal SNOP process, their manufacturing group actually trusts Lowe's forecast more because 
they can do that root cause analysis because they know why things changed. As a result of knowing why, they know how to react to that and they can trust the forecast more.